What it do, what it do, is the Game of World Barry here back with another video. I am back, and I am back for sure, you know. So, we had a lot of cover on this video, but let's go ahead and cover the average raid first. So, this average raid is going to be a good one. This armor already looks good. This fire spirit already looks great. The defense stats are great on it. Me, personally, I want the plus version. A lot of people that are just starting off, go ahead and get the top 10. Go ahead and get the top 20. Top, top 20 is actually good. I think the top 10 uh, last raid I just went in, I think it was uh, with Redshift 7. I believe I had got a Spirit and Earth Armor, if I'm correct. If I'm correct. I'm pretty sure we got a Spirit and Earth Armor with them. And that armor wasn't really that good. It really wasn't. And um, I'm pretty sure it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that was a raid and this top 20 actually looks kind of better than it especially the defense and then just the beginning stats after you go ahead and max it out then it's gonna be good even better so i would definitely recommend go top 20 as well you know and um they don't have to set on the rewards but you can go ahead and get them still on the armor spin so go ahead and do that don't forget you get an exclusive material at 50 exclusive material at 20 then after that you're just really getting seasonals you're getting your keys so if you're going to gem definitely get all the 10 keys um i actually messed up i didn't get the blitz war pvp um not the yeah not the pvp um blitz war though i didn't get the 10 keys for that so I, i'm not getting that armor that you're supposed to get if you go into your armor selection whenever you go to guide and you got the options to go ahead and go on seasonal exclusive epic boss but a little thing i wanted to go ahead and say about these top player rewards though is i see the top players are always usually in the top guild so why doesn't k and d go ahead and give us another set for this armor you know what i'm saying because if you're already getting the armor twice and especially if you get two pluses why don't you give out two sets why don't you make something in a system where you get out two sets instead of just having one set and now you have another plus armor just looking pretty for no reason you know but I actually wanted to talk about that too like i think they updated the top player rewards because the fact that you get to get to be like top 20 and you still get this other shadow forge armor i think they just started that because at first i thought it was just exclusives then after that they give you like a very outdated armor but now like all of a sudden they have this season 63 armor right there and then there's the raid boss armor too is the um spirit earth and it actually looks pretty nice i like it you know, my arsenal for Spirit Earth definitely needs to be up. So if I wasn't going on a top 10 run, I would definitely go ahead and get it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all. I definitely feel like they should go ahead and start implementing two sets. So if people are going for two armors, then go for it. But next thing we're about to go ahead and cover is the Epic Boss. This is for people that really don't know what they're doing. And it's okay if you don't know what you're doing. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to show you the tutorial. I'm here to show you what needs to be done. So at first, you need 100 Morgan tickets to go ahead and get the ring and amulet. So go ahead and look for them. These are labeled runic. So these are going to be easy to find. It's going to be, look, there you go. Runic ring. And the other one, I guess, is going to be runic amulet. <laughs> That's like obvious, right? So go ahead and get the spirit ring. And then after that, go ahead and get the fire amulet. Simple, you know? Simple thing, go ahead and order it, boom, now you got it. And you don't need to wait no time for it, it gives you it automatically. Go ahead and connect it on your armor. You're gonna see your stats change, you're gonna see more health on your armor and everything, you know. But keep in mind, this is a T1, so you're not gonna see a big old change, no, you're not. Yes, it is a Shadow Forge, but this is a different type of Shadow Forge that needs to be upgraded. So currently, we're looking for the amulet. I actually had to close the app and I had to get back on the app and like just edit this out it may not even seem like it but i literally had to just now because sometimes they be acting like i didn't just buy the ring and amulet and it doesn't even be showing up on my ring and amulet and i don't even know why but anyways you need to go ahead and get 1900 of these morgan tickets you may ask how how can i get these morgan tickets you have to be active on the epic boss all month all month that's the only way you're gonna accumulate morgan tickets so the way this works is you get one epic boss upgrade you get your free shadow forge and you combine them together when you combine them together you're going to notice that t1 that was on the name of the armor is going to end up turning into a t2 just like the one shown right here on the screen so after you know how to do that just go ahead and start using the rest of your epic boss upgrades 
And this is not no Dragon Forge that you're supposed to use. This is solely meant for combining with your free Shadow Forge. That's the only purpose of this armor. It's not for you to go ahead and equip it and start fighting the Knights and Dragons, no. But this is actually what y'all about to see right now, though. So the glitch I was telling y'all about earlier when I couldn't find my ring and amulet, this is what's happening right now. I try to show out the T10 stats for the beginners and intermediate players who don't play as much to see what the stats are going to be looking like. But obviously I couldn't do it because they have a glitch in the system. I don't know what the glitch is about. Sometimes it just doesn't want to show my ring and amulet even though I clearly just bought it. And this is 100% proof. I was just trying to find it. I couldn't even show you the T10 stats because the game won a glitch. But anyways y'all, this is the T20 stats. These are the base stats with not one upgrade now on the ring of amulet not even on the armor it's gonna be looking kind of average not really too strong but don't worry about that these are the commander stats and um even for commander stats if you're if you're just beginning out trust me this is a good armor especially if you have a good pet and you know just work your way up in the guild you can be a high commander and if you just become so good and want to be a partner you end up becoming a guild sentinel and if you're not too good to a point where you need to be a guild sentinel because a guild sentinel protects your guild during guild wars, you might just become a guild champion. You know, guild master is always going to be the owner of the guild or the person who thought about creating the guild. You know, don't ever think about being a guild master unless he retires one day and tell, tells you to go ahead and take over. But yeah, y'all, this is the base stats with no upgrades. I'm about to go ahead and upgrade it right now. The armor is still strong. For no upgrade, that's actually strong. I'm not even gonna lie. I like it personally. This is one of my newest fire and spirit armors that I have because I currently don't have any. So this is it's good, you know. So even for beginner players, look look at me. I'm not as much as a beginner player, and I still want it, and I still like it, you know. So definitely go ahead and you know love the armor. The armor is great, you know. I need it in my lineup, you know. Whenever I get a spirit and earth raid, you know, I'm gonna need it. I like it. You know, I got a lot of plus armor, so I'm not going to really need it in arena, but nah. Let's go ahead and upgrade it up to 100, though. And then let's go ahead and show you the final stats. I am going to put an ascension level on it because you're going to need that. You're going to need that, especially for the look. Me, personally, I don't like the armor just turning on 99, just looking without, like, a regular face. Nah, you got to have that black face with the red eyes. You see, you can see the white. I don't want to see that. I want to see a mask. I want to see a real mask. I'm at Commander on Lost at Dawn. We're actually about to go on a run, so y'all stay tuned for that video as well. I'm about to go ahead and put the Ascension level on this at least once. I want to see that face. I don't want to see a regular human face. No, we're nice. We're supposed to be looking cool. So these are the stats, Ascension level 1. And the health is actually not bad. It's at 1,602. Let's go ahead and see what the Ring and Amulet is talking about whenever you max it out. So what I usually do, I don't buy it. I just go to the runic ring, go over there, put it all the way to five, and I just add the difference from the health, and that was 30. You go to the amulet, you add the difference to that, and let's go ahead and see what it is. Okay, let's go to five, 20. So that's 50 in, in total. So in reality, you're only gonna be having 1602 plus 50, that's 1652. It's still good. As upgrading it though, nah, I wouldn't waste my silver coins on that, so definitely don't do that. But let's go ahead and go on to the next subject, y'all. So whenever y'all upgrade your armor to T20, you get to go to the Epic Boss Collection. And it actually gives you gifts, free exclusive material. Then it gives you free three silver coins. All you do is press redeem, boom, and there you have it. You know, and it says you could get one more gift. So you see the one right next to it? I had got that last month. That is the water and fire free shadow forge that we had got last time. If I upgrade that to T20, I, t I get to get more silver coins. Six more, as a matter of fact. You know, and I actually need that. So I would be upgrading it. I am going to be spending my Morgan tickets for that. Mine's at currently 15. I know I have leftover Morgan tickets. All I got to do is fight the Ebony Boss a little bit more and I'm going to get them tickets. So I'm going to go ahead and get them silver coins. I need them. And also, for the next subject, we got the heroic mode going on. As y'all seen, I went on a top 10 for the fire and um, earth armor. My fault. And that armor was actually weak. These stats right here are the base stats. And those are already better than the armor I had. So currently, I'm already on the heroic mode. I've been going in. I'm actually about to defeat almost all of it already. It's very easy. Even for the beginners, all you need is your friends. 
You can use all your friends, 10 friends a day, and get the regular armor. Me, I'm going for the plus because I could damn near beat the whole six stages with just my regular armors. And y'all, I'm already up to date. I already have 11 materials for this. I already got the fire and air plus, and I already have the regular version. And um, I already got the regular coming in. And after I beat the heroic mode a little bit, I'm about to have the fire earth plus. So I'm actually thinking about getting this fire and water armor. I don't know 100% yet, but I'm actually thinking about getting it. So I'm th I'm really like thinking of getting it right, right now. But as y'all see, look at these stats. 21,183. That stuff sucks. 21,800, 18,300. That sucks. When you go to the heroic mode, the heroic mode is already 23,000 let me stop saying 19 um but yeah like i'm already looking forward for this armor look at it it's better than that armor i already got you know so i was thinking about getting two plus versions of that but the regular is already better than that t10 armor and the plus i'm out of have it i already have the air and fire plus and i didn't get this fire and water armor so i'm about to just go ahead and get it right now and since I got it right now, that leaves me with my third armor that I just got. I already listed that I got the fire and air plus. I already listed that I already got the fire and earth coming from the heroic. I just ordered the fire and water. So whenever you go to your boss collections, you get to redeem a season 73 material. Not the exclusive material, a seasonal material. There's a difference between both of them. But yeah, y'all, if y'all need any more tips and tricks do you if i need any more tutorials just let me know drop a comment let me know what it is and i'll try my best to go ahead and make it happy y'all